Okay, we have an exciting one today. It is an unboxing, unbagging of the Pro Photo B10 Plus Flash Duo Kit. Two heads, one bag. Now, I've been swithering on picking these up for ages. I finally bit the bullet today. I haven't looked inside the bag deliberately so I can do this review. So here we are. So if you're not familiar with the Pro Photo B10 Plus heads, uh, they are Profoto's latest portable flash. You can either run them into the mains or run them just off the battery themselves, or you can do both at the same time where you can shoot whilst charging the battery. Very excited about these. It's an investment that I have been swithering about for a long time, debating it. It's a lot of money. I was renting a lot of lighting for clients, and that is rental money that could have been going towards paying these off. So I carried this home. It's actually super light. Let me put it on here. It's really small. Do a little modeling job here. Takes weight off the shoulders. Okay, so there's two, there's three entrants into the bag. On the back, you have a zip here, which is much like my Evoc camera bag. So you can zip that all the way around. Ah, the lovely lights there. We have a message from Connie Duffgran. Founder of Profoto, congratulations. The power of small is yours. Thank you, Connie, for all your hard work there. You get these attachments, which can go onto the lights, which then means you can pop them onto light stands. You've got one for each head. You have your kettle lead there, as it's known. A USB to USB-C cable. Interesting, don't know what that's for. Another kettle lead. The chargers. Okay, so that goes into the chargers there. Perfect. Extra uh, dividers. Awesome. All very neat and tidy. I will probably use this rucksack, I reckon. Oh, so I'm not going to do too much of a review of these. This is just an unboxing. I will get into a first full review. I have these on set with me tomorrow, Tuesday, and then at the end of the week on Friday. So I will be putting them through their paces pretty quickly. We have a couple of zips here, it comes with the uh, instructions and there's another section here. So actually within the bag you've got plenty of space to store memory cards, hard drives and other attachments. So that was one entrance. Flip it over to the front. We have a nice pouch on the side here for like things. <laughs> Open the front up. Ah. I thought this was going to open up into the main section of the bag, but you actually have a nice fluffy laptop bit there, as well as tons of other little sections. So that is very neat. You can put memory cards, hard drives, and all that jazz in there as well. So that's super handy. So to access the lights, the only way in is through the bottom here and we pick the best spot to do this review. And the top, which I find slightly odd. Open up and get access straight to something there. I guess, hmm, I guess you could arrange the inside so you can have access to it from the top there. Interesting one. All in all, the bag is good, but let's get to the main event. Ooh, that's rubber. Okay, on other Pro Photo lights, it's been like a hard plastic. But this is like a rubber textured edge. That's quite cool. The stand attachment is separate to the light and I've just noticed the USB-C or USB-3 port there. Might be interesting to explore, go straight into the light. We screw this on. One thing which is quite cool, which I wasn't sure these lights were gonna have, is these little holes here for other attachments to go through like umbrellas and some soft boxes and stuff just come as, with an umbrella attachment. I think the battery has a little thing on it which I have to peel off. And attach. And I don't know if you can see there, but you've got your charging port on the battery as well. Let's power up, hold this little white button. Battery's showing as low. I need to get these charged before tomorrow. So the interface on the Profoto B10 Plus is really cool. It's not touch screen or anything like that, but I like those little clicks. You just turn it to go up in tents or you push it down and turn it 
to grab her full stops, which is like all of the profile kit. We have a modeling light, and you can turn this up and down on the back, ah, by turning the modeling light button. That makes sense. And if you push it in and turn it, it changes the color temperature, which is quite a cool feature. The twisty knob thing feels really nice and smooth. Obviously with Profoto you're getting a ton of build quality. Profoto lights are always just built the best, but you do pay that bit extra for getting Profoto. As far as weight goes, it's not as light as I thought, but it's still super light, especially compared to the B1Xs or previous models gone past. All the attachments still fit the same. So on that note, I have my Profoto beauty dish here. Pop it on a stand here. I'm trying to make this review as quick as possible. 20 minute unboxings and stuff, they just don't do it for me. Let's turn the modeling light on. Let's make it a little warm. Let's turn it up half power because my battery is flashing. I haven't been watching my framing on this video. I've probably been in and out of it. Okay, and I'm gonna put it up here. There we are. Uh, got a little light on the situation now. A very quick unboxing and first thoughts on the Profoto. I did have a little play around with these before I invested in them, obviously. And I'm really familiar with the Profoto uh, range because we use them a lot. The uh, battery definitely needs charge. What can I say? Initial thoughts, solid. It's just the quality that you would normally expect from Profoto. I've worked with other brands such as Ellen Chrome, Braun Color, and all the other lighting brands out there, but as far as build quality and quality of lights, Braun Color, Profoto, always the two that are right up there and pretty much unrivaled in my eyes. There are alternatives out there that are a little cheaper, a lot cheaper, but this is a serious investment, one that I have not taken lightly. These lights are very expensive. I went to Wex today and my eyes started watering when they said they were 3,600, but they didn't have any in stock anyway. I went to Pro Center in London. They had them in stock ready to go today and I can rent them out tomorrow for the first time. Uh, they had them listed on the website for 2,995 pounds plus VAT. So 3,500, an eye-watering amount for anybody. This kit, plus some of the other stands and stuff, I can rent out in the region of 150 to 300 per job. Uh, we're taking some lights with us tomorrow, so that's the lights come in at 3.5. I've already rented them out for 200 tomorrow, and then 150 on Friday, so they're beginning to pay themselves back. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, and anything on the Profoto B10 Plus. I shall be doing a review with these once I've had a, a good swing at them, once I've used them on a few jobs. Hit like if you liked it, hit subscribe if you liked it even more, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks very much.